First off on our uh, review list is the VZ61. This is basically a replica of the real uh, Checkmate CZ made uh, VZ61 Scorpion. Um, this one is actually was made for tankers. Used a very tiny 32 ACP round that's very common in Europe, not so common here in the Philippines and in the US. Uh, and this is rather a rather faithful replica of uh, KSC slash KWA. So let's uh, check a look at some of the features. Uh, it has a folding stock, and the stock has uh, serrations on the back basically to try and help you get a good shoulder on it. As you can see, it's kind of awkward because I'm huge and the gun is so damn tiny. Um, aside from the folding stock, uh, it uses either small 20 round magazines or big 40 round magazines, which I'll show you in a bit. The gun is charged, or basically has uh, peep sights on the rear, has, uh, sorry, not a peep sight, it's like a small U-shaped notch on the back that's graduated for 150 meters. 75. Uh, obviously you're not going to be using that a lot because it's tiny and for reasons that I will go into in a bit. So the locks fires from the closed ball, uh, locks on the last, uh, locks to the rear on the last, when you fire the last round. Let me put this on. So basically the real thing has an injection port on the top which obviously this thing replicates. Let's hope we have gas still. So it locks to the rear. And you have a selector switch on here on the back. Hopefully the camera focuses. You have a selector he switch here in the back. This is this is on semi. This is safe. It's kind of stiff. Wait, me. So this is semi, safe, and full auto. To release the charging handle when it's locked to the rear, uh, you have to re remove the magazine, either uh, put a new magazine in, then charge it back. That's basically gonna make the bolt go home, or just re remove the magazine and just put it. So, one of the very weird things, or the things you have to actually uh, get used to this gun when you fire it, is that it uses a reciprocating charging handle. What does that mean? It means each time you fire a round, Oh, this little charging handle on both sides has it on both sides will actually move back which obviously if you're doing the exaggerated magpul grip like this that's not gonna work because they're basically gonna jam the gun when you try to fire it so what happens what's the recommended uh, method of firing this thing which is actually replicated in a real thing it's basically you're just holding the mag the magazine well like this and firing it this way. We're gonna show you how you fire that here in a bit. So we put the mag put the magazine in, charge the gun, put it on semi, and fire. Make sure your hand is out of the way of the charging handle. Because as you can see, it actually moves a lot. So full. We're almost out of gas, so this is gonna be weird. Out of gas. So that's basically uh, the way you fire the CZ61. It's kind of weird, and you get used to it. The hop system is basically this basically uses uh, KSC KWA's uh, System Seven system. So your hop system is basically the same. Um, to access it, you have to lock the bolt back. So let's do that right now. So you lock the bolt back. And then you'll see the hop system is accessible through the back of this. We're going to show you a close-up of that in a bit. So you'll see the hop system there and you need a small key uh, to actually open it. Before I forget, one, one thing that you do need to realize when you buy one of these things is that it's not made, of, it's not made out of metal. This is actually plastic. It's heavyweight plastic. It's actually rather durable. It has a nice grayish finish but it is plastic so it's one of those things that you will have to um, think about when you're actually thinking about buying this gun because 
it's rather expensive, especially here in the Philippines. Uh, and you're basically paying for a gun that's made out of plastic. So that might be a big deal breaker for you. So how does it fare when you're actually using it in the field? Well, but to be honest, it's actually ra it's, it's a good gun, especially if you're looking for a secondary uh, and you're, you're actually considering something that is has like easier, well, it's easier to aim and shoot than a pistol. Um, this gun is small enough and it's light enough that you can actually put it in a bag somewhere on you or uh, put it on chest rig or even in your dump pouch. Then when you actually need it, you can just take it out. One of the things that I don't like about it is because is that when you're actually shouldering it and when you're firing it, the sights are almost useless. It's terrible to use. You can't even, it's just so, so tiny. Uh, what ends up happening is you're basically just using your front post sight as kind of like a um, primitive EOTech. Basically just point the front post to whatever you're shooting at. Po point it, shoot. That's basically how it goes. As far as accuracy is concerned, uh, it can. I've hit people from here where I'm standing. I'm gonna just show you. Over there, that little room that you can see at the bottom that has like the little windows and shit. So I've managed to hit people from there to here. Uh, with one shot and uh, it's not bad. Accuracy is typical of what you expect from a KSC or KWA gun. System 7 hop system which is it's not bad, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. So that's basically what you expect from this gun. As far as recoil is concerned, it's actually surprisingly uh, the recoil is rather heavy which is surprising considering this is basically just uses uh, KWA's uh, submachine guns don't really recoil a lot. Uh, the MP7 doesn't recoil a lot. The Chris, obviously by its design, does not recoil a lot. So I was kind of surprised to see this particular gun recoil heck of pretty hard comparative to its size. So probably asking, let's see it shoot. So I have VZ61, KSC KWA VZ61 have long magazines, 40 round magazines, and with it in the gun, it's <laughs> kind of silly looking, but you'll appreciate it once I show you how fast this gun shoot. So right now we're gonna charge the gun. So charge the gun, single fire, firing on single. Again, keep your hand of the charging handle because that's gonna fuck things up. Full auto. Okay, so as you see, last round, lock the ball to the rear, take that out, put in a new one. To release the, to release the bolt, basically just charge the bolt back, then make sure you're on full auto, make sure your hand is away from the charging handle, then let it rip. That is why you need a 40 round magazine. So let's talk about cost. Um, this actually costs in the Hong Kong around it's less than 8,000 pesos. It's around 8,000, probably around 8,000, 8,500 pesos. I don't know how much that is in dollars. Probably you're looking at 180, 160 dollars. And here in the Philippines, you're probably not gonna believe this, but you should because I bought one. Um, this gun costs around 13,000 something. 13,800, I think, around 13,000, 12,000, so, kind of around that. So you can see just how much ridiculously overpriced this thing is here in the Philippines. So um, if you're buying one, I'd recommend you just ask someone from Hong Kong to just get you one. The magazines are almost as ridiculously expensive. This is, uh, this one is around 3,100, 3,200, 3,000, can't remember. Shorter ones are less expensive, 2,900, I guess. So, yeah, <laughs> this is a niche item, uh, unless someone actually, it's awesome, it's amazing, but it's not, it's not 13,000 pesos amazing. 
So if you have someone that can actually bring you one from Hong Kong, you should do that. Uh, until the prices actually go down, I suggest you just hold off buying one because it's not, it's just ridiculously expensive here. It's just, it's crazy. Anyway, so, but if you're outside of, uh, outside of Philippines, you can actually get this at a rather decent price. You could probably just buy two of them and just go akimbo because uh, I didn't actually show you guys. Put down the magazine for a bit. I didn't actually show you guys, but you can actually remove stop so you can basically just use it as a pistol you know, so if you're so inclined so yeah that's basically the CZ6-1 um, it's rather a rather awesome gun it's a rather fun gun uh, it's kind of ruined here in the Philippines by just awful awful pricing hopefully the prices on the, these things just go down uh, hopefully uh, we'll be Putting in a disassembly video as well. Hopefully, you saw how it's easy to disassemble this and basically just to adjust the hop for this gun. That's it for me. Thank you very much.